Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make on the design of the new simulator and I wanted to start out by talking about display systems as that is an area where I'm going to have to make a decision relatively quickly. The display system for the previous sim, the one I've just finished dismantling, was based around a 180 degree curved screen using two projectors with their images warped and blended together to create a seamless 180 degree outside field of view from the simulator. And that's a pretty impressive thing when you first see it and I've really been enjoying using it over the last couple of years. But it does have limitations and it does have disadvantages. Not least that 180 degree field of view is probably not enough to feel fully immersed into the simulation because you can always see the edges of the screens when you look left and right. So I thought about maybe increasing the field of view of the screen and also changing the orientation in the room to hopefully use the space a little bit better and I did some diagrams to try and understand what that might look like and I have one of those here. So in this model you can see I would have moved the screen around so that it faces directly towards the rear wall of the house and I would extend it to somewhere between 210 and 240 degrees field of view so that I'd be sitting right inside the radius of the screen and I would feel more immersed. But the drawback as you can see is that it really squeezes the room available towards the far side of the room where the desking is by the chimney breast and out towards the window. I would find it very hard to get past a permanent structure located there without removing all of that desking which I really don't want to do. So I considered potentially having portions of the screen detachable or maybe on some kind of hinge so that I could move them out of the way when I'm not using the sim but I'm not entirely sure how practical that would be. I'd also need to move to three projectors in this setup which is not a big issue from the point of view of having the projectors to do it. I do have uh, one projector spare which is from the previous iteration of the sim before I replaced the projectors. It is of basically the same model as the ones I've got. It's actually a different model number and the case looks different but all the guts are the same so it will generate the same kind of picture using the same LCD panel and the same light which is what you need to get the images to match up and join up. Moving to a three view setup would have implications for performance and I've talked about those in previous videos but to be honest I think I would have to do that anyway with any solution other than the one that I had. So these were things that I was looking at and ideas I'd been having about how I might rebuild the projection system and the projection screen. But then I started thinking about the inherent pros and cons of projection systems more generally and you have to acknowledge however good you think that projected systems are, that there are some disadvantages. For example, projectors need to be used in a dark room. The darker the better. Ambient light really ruins the projected image. It washes it out and it removes the brightness. It's quite difficult to make a room like this completely dark, especially when you're using the sim in the day and daylight creeps in around the door and around the window frame. So without a considerable amount of work, it's going to be quite hard for me to make the room any darker than it already is. Then there's the issue that projector images generally are going to be less bright and have less contrast than images from emissive systems like monitors and televisions. And that's just a fundamental aspect of the technology being used. The image will also probably never be as sharp as you can get from an LCD panel, for example, because of the nature of how the light is being cast onto the screen and then reflected back to you. You can have issues with the focal length of the projector on a curved screen. Projectors are designed to project onto flat surfaces. When you project that image onto a curved surface, you can get areas of the image where the focus becomes soft because you've exceeded the focal length in one direction or the other. And I've seen that problem with my setup in some of the extreme corners of the image. It's not that distracting, but it could be a real problem if you had that on a bigger screen or a screen with more field of view. There's also the issue that where you blend projectors together, you cannot afford to have them go out of alignment by even a tiny amount because then the pixels don't overlap properly and that whole area of the screen will become blurry. And just generally speaking, the image is going to be more blurry, less sharp, less contrasty, less bright than you would get from other kinds of displays. The warping just adds to that problem 
because when you warp the source image coming out of the simulator so it will fit around the curve, in order to do that the software has to squeeze parts of the image so that they will fit and when it does that it reduces the number of pixels available on the projector to actually display the pixels from the source image so you'll have less pixels being displayed than there were in the original image and that will end up with lower resolution and a reduction in definition. And these are all problems that are just inherent to projector systems. You can get around them by having bigger screens, higher resolution projectors, custom optics. If you were building a fully commercial simulator, you might, for example, use a cylindrical lens, which would actually optically warp the image for the screen rather than doing it digitally on the image source. But that's not something that any of us home cockpit builders are likely to be able to afford. Well, okay, if not a projector-based system, what could I do? Well, the obvious alternative is to use TVs. Now, we're lucky these days that TVs are available relatively inexpensively in very large sizes. You can get 50, 55, 65, even bigger TVs than that at relatively reasonable prices, certainly compared to the cost of projectors. And so it wouldn't cost that much to build out a system based on three or even five TV screens. So I wanted to see how that might look in the space I've got available and whether or not it's something I'd be able to do. And I've done another 2D diagram to show you that idea. So this is based around three 55 inch TVs. I tried various different sizes. I tried three and five TV combinations. The problem with five TVs, actually a problem with three TVs is that again, you're gonna to have to have multiple views in the simulator. If you're going to have five views, for example, you absolutely will have to have several PCs generating the outside view. And at the moment, I just have the one. Don't really, at the moment, have the capability to build lots of extra PCs, not least because it's very hard to get hold of the parts, specifically graphics cards, and I don't have any of those spare at the moment. But you could probably run three views from a single image generator PC using the latest version of prepared which has a lot of optimizations i'm kind of banking on that for this process because either way i'm going to need to go to three views but this represents a combination with three 55 inch tvs i've angled it in the room so that the tv on the left is directly up against the wall that does mean it's still at a bit of an angle it does mean it's not optimum and as you can see the right hand tv there does get fully in the way of the window and butts up right against the desk. However, much easier to have a monitor like that on some kind of swivel or hinge. And in this kind of setup, I would be considering removing part of this desk anyway, so I would be able to walk around um, behind that TV without needing to move it much, if at all. Now, what does this get me? Well, it would allow me to get the main instrument panel and the rest of the console a lot closer to the display surface than I can do with the projected image. And that would save me quite a lot of room. The actual screen itself, the front screen, gets nearer to the wall, nearer to that corner, than the projection screen ever could. And that again saves me some room. But really the key advantage, other than the fact that the image will be brighter, higher contrast, and a lot sharper than the projector alternative, is that unlike projectors, TVs don't have light cones. With a projector, you have a light cone coming out of the projector towards the screen. If anything gets into that light cone, be it you or a part of you or copy infrastructure or whatever it might be, it's going to cast a shadow on the screen. Whereas if you have televisions, you can put stuff in front of the screen and it won't cast a shadow unless you have a very, very strong light behind you and it won't block out that part of the image. So it would be much more practical for me to create some kind of cockpit enclosure or shell inside a three TV setup than it ever would be in this room at least with a projector setup. So those are the pros. What are the cons? Well, the obvious cons of TVs are the bezels. And although the bezels on TVs have been shrinking year on year, they are still there and they are omnipresent and you can't ignore them. What I understand from people who have simulators based on multiple big TVs is that you kind of mentally edit out the bezels after a while. And I don't think it's such a big issue that it would be a showstopper for this kind of solution, but it is something to bear in mind. And one other pro that it's worth thinking about is that TVs put out a lot less heat than projectors. 
Projectors put out an enormous amount of heat and in the high summer the interior of my sim room can easily get up to 40 plus degrees. That's the reason I had to buy and use an air conditioning unit in order to get any kind of comfort in the sim. As a next step to help me visualize what a TV based solution might look like in the room space, I actually went ahead and started doing some 3D modeling rather than the 2D modeling which you can see here. And for that I've been using the web version of SketchUp which I'll bring up now. It's been taken over by Trimble and it has become much more of a commercial product but there is still this free web based version available and it's good enough for basic modeling although I think I'll probably have to look at SolidWorks or Fusion 360 or something like that for more advanced design. But I did basically sketch out the layout of the room with the, the desking that you can see and the position of the door and everything else and then I added in these three flat surfaces to represent three televisions of 55 inches and this is how they would fit into the room uh, using the orientation that you saw on the 2D diagram so if I go so if I go to a top-down view you can see how they fit again this is with this screen aligned against the wall and this one not aligned against this wall that would be an alternate way of doing it but this takes up less space overall than the projection system would do and it gives you basically the same field of view so you will get 180 degrees field of view out of this now i did say earlier in the video i was looking to expand the field of view and that is true but in order to do that i'd have to add more televisions and either i'd have to add them here going straight or more likely keep a hexagonal shape and have them coming here like this but that would probably take too much room and that would get you to a five display system and we talked about why that would be a bad idea not so long ago but what this would offer is that i could get the console the main instrument panel and the seating a lot closer to this line here than i could do with the projection based system so i should in theory be able to get my head beyond this line beyond the line drawn between these two points so that when i look left and i look right i'm not looking straight at the edge of the screens that's the thought anyway and that would be an improvement on what I have. But there are pros and there are cons in each direction. And although it probably sounds now like I'm fairly keen on the television solution, I really haven't made a decision. I am still thinking about what the best option would be and what the best compromise would be. And I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. So if you have any thoughts about this, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any experience building sims with TV-based uh, display systems like this, I would be very interested in hearing about your experiences and just generally what you think it is I ought to do and how I can take this forward. Until I've made this decision, I really can't go any further in terms of the design of the sim as this is going to impact on everything that I do. But I still have plenty of work to do clearing the room and then I mentioned I want to pull up the carpet and look at the floor because the floor has problems. So all of that work, that maintenance needs to be done before I can really start any of the physical building of the next generation solution. So I have a few weeks to cogitate make my decisions and, and come up with a design and during that time I'll post a few videos and solicit your feedback. Anyway thank you for watching hopefully that was useful and interesting for you if you have any general thoughts or comments please leave them in the comments below if you like the video please hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike button I'd rather hear feedback than people not tell me if they don't like the content and if you want to subscribe to the channel as always I would welcome that but please do hit the little bell icon not just because it helps me but also because the schedule on this channel is pretty erratic. But for now, that's all I have for you. So I'll be back relatively soon with yet more content. Keep your eyes peeled and I look forward to seeing you back on the channel very soon. Mm -hmm.